More than a century ago, French painters tried to predict the year 2000, and they came up with brilliant ideas, but they failed technologically so hard. They understood that microbes were in living things, but then they tried to administer poisonous gas to the shadows of those bacteria. There were postmen flying around, but then why not just sharing the data, the information remotely? They had robots playing instruments, but then why not digital music? In the 1960s, they tried to predict the future of the office, and they came up with brilliant technological ideas, fax machines, computers, telephones, but there were no women at the workplace. A cultural blind spot. If you try to predict the future, I'm afraid you will fail miserably because people have been using the wrong method. Hear me out. In almost every language, the future is singular, the future, but it's nonsense. There is not one definitive future on which timeline me as a professional futurist should predict exactly what and when will happen. A milestone, an event, an outcome of a question. That's impossible to do. However, there are multiple futures. There's a range of potential futures. And my job as a futurist is to help you find out how to create those visions, some distinctive scenarios for the future. Then, my second job as a futurist is to help you find the absolute best choice, the one future that could be the most beneficial for most of us in a given field or in a particular field of interest. And there comes the most exciting part, backcasting. If we have a preferred future, we have to backcast towards today. What shall we do from now on to get to that desired future? What kind of ethical, legal, technological, cultural changes we need to get to that desired vision? I could just come up with blind predictions, you know, like Nostradamus had come up with more than 6,000 prophecies. At least 100 of them were mind-blowingly on the spot, but the rest were useless. And if I come up with blind predictions, what can you do about them? Maybe I'm gonna be right, maybe I'm gonna be wrong. I will not be able to positively influence your decision making. But if we define potential futures, we choose the preferred one and backcast towards today, then that could influence your decision making or it could contribute to how healthcare leaders, policymakers, government officials would think about the future. How would they prepare for changes in medicine and healthcare? I use the same method when I provided you with a range about how the COVID pandemic could unfold early 2022. Let's see a practical example. Will AI replace your physicians? Using the old method, as a professional futurist, as an AI researcher doing that for more than a decade, I can tell you, I don't think AI will replace your physicians. But is this useful to you? I mean, if you trust me completely, then maybe it is. But this way, with just a blind prediction, I won't be able to influence decision makers about preparing for these changes. So how about creating future visions about whether AI will replace physicians? We will create a range a vision about AI completely replacing them, and a vision about AI completely being eradicated, and in between, all these visions with details, scenarios, trends. And then we will choose the, the potential future that looks the most beneficial for the most of us, for you, the patient, for physicians, for healthcare system in general, and then we will backcast towards today. How shall we prepare for that desired vision? I believe this will be much more important, much more useful and efficient than just providing right predictions. And do you know what's the best thing about all this? Why it matters to you? Because you can claim your own futures too. There are methods, established methods in future studies that have been around for decades that have not been used by the general public or by healthcare and medical decision makers, but it's possible to learn these methods. That's why we are here at The Medical Futurist. We will keep on providing you with all the materials, articles, analysis, infographics, videos, step-by-step -step guidelines, ebooks, and a short course about learning these methods. So, is it possible to predict the future? This way, it is, and you can do that too. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.